Blessed, most merciful, Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, I be pleasing to you, Lord, that I be pleasing and true to you, Lord. And I pray you lead me and guide me in this message that I'm about to give. Your will be done, Lord. Your will be done. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen. I had a dream. I was standing in this huge field all alone. And all of a sudden an angel came down to me from heaven. He stretched out his hand for me to take his hand. And he said, follow me. I want to show you something special, something very important. So I took the angel's hand and we immediately, we shot up higher and higher, so high that we were we were in, in space and the earth looked like a, a globe spinning below us. But I was not afraid, not as long as I was holding this angel's hand. As the earth slowly turned below us, the Middle East came into view and I could see what was left of the Euphrates River and the Tigris River and all of a sudden uh, we started descending just as fast as we had ascended and we crashed into the earth right at the Euphrates River and we went down into the earth. Now I have no idea how deep we went, but it seemed like a long way, maybe, maybe miles under the earth. When we stopped, I looked around and I saw, I saw caves running off in all different directions. And it seemed like uh, there was just endless miles of caves. Uh, and every cave was full of uh, cells carved out into the cave walls. And there were jail doors iron doors that were at the entrances for every one of these cells that which were carved into these caves and every every jail door every cell door was sprung wide open and I was kind of astounded that uh, there must have been millions even billions of these jail cells in these caves running in every direction and every every single door was sprung wide open and I wondered why was I being shown this scene? And I asked, what is this? The angel told me that these are the Nephilim and the demons to be released upon the earth in the last days. I asked, but the cells are empty. And the angel responded, these are the last days. Then the angel, still holding my hand, took me to another part of the cave system where I was shown four fallen angels. And these were not in cells, but they were chained to the walls. Uh, the angel pointed to one of these beasts and said that this one was the leader and that it was death to look into his eyes. Now I watched these beasts for several minutes and I was amazed how muscular uh, they were and that you could see, uh, you see their body expand and contract and hear massive amounts of air rushing in and out of the, these beast bodies with every breath they took. It seemed to be a gray color and I did not see any hair or fur on it. Honestly, all I could see was muscle. And you could see its muscles ripple as it moved and it twitched and it, it, as it slept. They seemed to be stirring as if they were preparing to wake up. These fallen angels, they were huge. They were huge. And I could not tell you how tall they were as they were curled up on the floor sleeping. But a rough wild guess would be 20 feet and that would be a low estimate of how tall these beasts were. They were absolutely pure evil as they hated God with everything they possessed. But they knew they could not touch God, so they would take their anger out on what God loved the most, and that would be us. They hated God because they were first, they were before us. But God loved us more than them, and that is why they hated us. And they would get their chance their season of destruction to take their full rage out upon the people and all of God's creation upon the earth. The angel told me that they were getting restless now as they uh, would be released for their season of destruction upon the earth and that they knew they would soon be released upon the earth to destroy a third of mankind including women, children, elderly, animals, nature, everything made by man as well. I just knew these fallen angels once awake and released upon the world would not stop day nor night. They would take their break, they would take no breaks, and they would destroy everything before them. 
they would destroy with much rigor as they knew their season of destruction was limited to a year, a month, a day, and an hour to slay a third part of mankind. Just as it says in Revelation 9, verse 14 and 15. And they knew, they knew that no weapon could harm them. And God's word will not return void. These Nephilim and demons are now being released upon us. Have you seen all the reports of Bigfoot sightings exploding all over the earth lately? Have you noticed that recently sightings of aliens, Nephilim, creatures walking in people's backyards, city streets, in malls, in plain sight? These sightings a few years ago were rare, very rare, and out in the wilderness, in remote places. But today these sightings are in plain sight and in populated areas, proving that what I was shown is coming true and that these are the last days. And from now on until the rapture, we will see more and more of these Nephilim and demon, alien and UFO sightings becoming more bold, more pronounced, and in our faces. They will tell us these are aliens, but in fact these are demons and Nephilim, and now they walk among us, and soon they will be joined by the fallen angels. Now is the time to get right with God, as we do not know how much time we have left. Because once Jesus comes and takes his faithful away home with him, if you miss the rapture, then you will endure all these horrors and so very much more. And it will get magnitudes worse. The earth will be no place to be after the rapture, because then, <clears throat> then all hell comes to earth. I know, because I have seen it. God bless you. God keep you and yours in his loving arms, just like he held me. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. And we love you all so very, very much. And we keep all of you in our prayers. These are the last days, and time is oh so short. Now is the time to get right with God and repent, repent, and pray. Pray without ceasing, because these are the last days, the last hours, the last minutes, the last seconds. So what are you going to do with the time you have left? God bless you. God keep each and every one of you. Because every one of you has been a blessing to us. We love you all so very much.